Hi and welcome back to my channel. The first thing I want to do today is I want to thank everybody who offered me kindness and support on Thursday's video. It really meant so much to me. I mean, some of those comments are just beyond kind. I, I can't believe that I impact on other people um, in the way that I, I work my plan and stuff like that. And, and it's very easy when you're having a bad week to feel like such a failure and such a letdown. But when people come back to you with such kindness and um, generous generosity of spirit, shall we say, I, w I was actually really moved. I have found it really difficult this week. I have eaten my body weight in stuff I shouldn't be eating. And I'm going to stand here and say to you this morning that I wish I could say I could just turn it off like that. The thoughts are all still there. I've just got to learn not to act on them. And one of the things I was contemplating doing was finding something to keep my hands busy. I spoke to a lady across the road and asked her if she could start me off on some crochet. And she couldn't do it because <coughs> she's got arthritis in her hands. So I took my wall and my hook to group this morning. And the lady who sits next to me used to stand market. So she's used to standing up and speaking out. And so she stood up and she said, excuse me, excuse me, can anybody help Jane? She desperately wants to do some crochet, but she can't start it. Now, I used to be able to crochet anything from a pattern, but since I've not been able to see, I've not really done very much. So there was a lovely young lady in the queue today who was just joining group for the first time, and she has started me off. I'm going to can you see that on camera, Jeff? Mm. She started me off on what they call a granny square, which ultimately could become a blanket. And this is what I'm going to use this week to keep my hands busy in the evenings when I'm thinking of what can I nibble, what can I shove in my mouth, hand to mouth action, whatever. I'm going to use this crochet. So I'll show you next week and see if it's any bigger. <laughs> so let me just hook that back together. So thank you to the young lady who did that for me. Standing here in front of you this morning, and we'll get the weight stuff out of the way first before I mention the other few things that I want to mention. Standing here in front of you this morning, I cannot fasten my jeans. This is what's really got to me. I must have at least 10 pairs of jeans, and this morning I can only fasten one pair and they're a size 12. The ones I've just put on are a size 10, and I'm here to show you. This is what happens to you if you eat cake and ice cream and biscuits and muffins and forgive me for mentioning stuff that might trigger you if you don't like it, turn me off. But I have eaten, I, I can't tell you how much I've eaten this week and consequently can't fasten my jeans and I reckon 8 out of my 10 pairs of jeans. I've got one pair that I had on earlier that were size 12 and they fit comfortably. They're usually really big on me and I usually need to put a belt on them. So this is the state I'm in from overeating. Public show of the fact that the jeans won't fasten and it's a long time since I've been in that place. So I go to group this morning. We've got a standing consultant because our consultant's away on holiday. Really, really nice lady who often does the group and we've got a different one again next week. I always say I hate all the scales. I'm a bit of a stickler for rules and things. I like one set of scales, which is why, although I have been the pig of all pigs this week, I have not once got on our scales at home because I've always said I'll never do that and I won't. You know, I did have the option. I could have got on our scales on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or even Friday and said call a halt to it. But I know that my scales in the bathroom, will, well, Joe's scales in the bathroom will not weigh the same as the Slimming World scales. So I always say I will only get on Naomi's scales every Saturday and that's what I go by. Because I don't want to become the person who is scale obsessed in the way I used to be, where I used to get weighed 14 times a day. If I go for a wee, I'll get weighed. If I go for a poo, I'm bound to have had a loss. Don't always work. If I've had a cup of tea, I'll get weighed. If I've had my lunch, I'll get weighed. I used to be mental around scales. So I decided, wait until Saturday, face the scales. So I go into group this morning, and one of my lovely friends at group was on the scales, and I said to her, please, uh, quite quietly, please don't gasp when you see how much I've gained. Because this is proof of it. Get on the scales. I don't know what you're worried about. She said, you've only put a pound on. Well, I've just said to Joe, I've, ju I've just been in my wardrobe looking for something to get changed into because we'll be going out soon. My clothes feel so tight and so uncomfortable. 
It's insane. I mean, I see so many videos and have done over the two or three years I've been around social media where people will say, I've gained a stone, I've, I'm back up a stone, I'm back up a stone and a half, but I'm still a size 8 or I'm still a size 10 or I'm still a size 12 or whatever. My question for anybody this morning would be how? Because, honest to goodness, unless I get a grip on this, before Christmas I'm not going to have anything in my wardrobe that fits me. I have really, like this morning, I've really shaken myself. You know, just putting clothes on that I usually wear, and not because I wear them every day because I've got enough to choose between, but to just put them on and think, my God, you know, this jumper was so baggy and now it feels quite fitted and, and I can't fasten my jeans and my bum's coming back and all that. And then go to group and learn that you've gained a pound. I'm so grateful that I haven't gone over the 10 stone. I know I've got to change what I'm doing. I know I'm not going to say I'm a failure. I know I'm making wrong choices. I know what I'm doing, I'm doing to myself and it's nobody's fault but my own. In group this morning we were asked to write down excuses. Write down an excuse you would use this week. I struggled because it, there is no excuse. It's choice. And I, I said that to the lady, I said, I think my biggest thing is like, I could say, oh, I'm too tired to cook. But that's not even it, because if I was too tired to cook, I wouldn't be too tired to say to Joe, walk me a mile and three quarters down the road to Tesco, because I want to get a specific cake and some specific muffins and some specific chocolate and crisps. And I don't need to make excuses, and I don't make excuses anymore. I take ownership of what I'm doing. And if I couldn't be bothered to cook a meal, but I could be bothered to go out and get a load of food to binge on, which is what I've been doing this week, it wasn't because I couldn't be bothered to cook the meal, I've been fine all day, it's just my evenings. So I'm taking some sort of action, hopefully with the crochet and that, to change my evenings. I'm going to go back to saying I don't eat after six o'clock, and I've got to stick to that, because I, it worked. And like I'm about, it works if I work it. I'm not working the things that work, and that's why I'm getting into the mess I'm getting into. So, with what I said on Thursday, like I'd give £10 for every pound that I've gained, to give somebody just £10 when I, when I really felt like I'd totally blown it feels a bit mean, so I'm going to say £25. I give a £25 voucher to the winner of the draw, and I'm going to ask Joe to do the draw, please, Joe. Okay. And let's see who. Um, but thank you so much all of you for your support there's some fantastic comments if you haven't read them please do because we're all in this together you got it up uh joanne bailey joanne bailey mm -hmm. okay joanne so please do you want to read joanne's comment huh? <clears throat> it might help you now you it might help you now you have got you fighting mojo back i wish you all the luck for weighing saturday i too um I too, I'm finding it hard, but my health is under threat with high blood sugar. I get retested in January. I'm on the maximum dose of tablets. I need to lose 20 pounds to get back to healthy weight. I have had a better week so far, but it's a struggle. Kiss. Good luck, Joanne, too. Let's do this. We can all do this. We can all take control. We're the only ones who've got the power to help ourselves, aren't we? So, Joanne, if you could email me on janiac, which is J-A-N-I-A-C-7, at googlemail.com, and we'll come to some agreement about what kind of voucher you would like, uh, Marks and Spencers, Amazon, whatever, and I'll get that in the post to you this week. Thank you, everybody, for your support. And as I say, please, if you've got five minutes, read those comments, because so many of us experience these things. I felt so supported and it was just such a boost to know I'm not the only one who does this, I'm not the only one who's, who's feeling the way I'm feeling and who's battling with the thoughts and the experiences. It's, yeah, it, it's just mind-blowing that trying to lose weight and trying to keep weight off can be such a battle in our lives. Hey ho, I probably was never born to be naturally thin, but I'm going to keep fighting, I'm not quitting. Like Debbie says, no giving up, no going back. Thanks for that Debbie, it helps me. Right, a couple of things, I want to show you some parmesan cheese. <clears throat> One of the things I've been looking at is A choices, because I'm still off milk. Um, I was really pleased to see yesterday when we did, did some shopping that this parmesan cheese shavings, 
100 grams in a tub. There's quite a decent amount in there, isn't there, Joe? 100 grams. Yeah, but I mean, it, it feels like a decent amount. It's not. Yeah. And you can have 30 grams as an A choice. So I'm going to use some of that this week as one of my A choices. Yep, yeah, still off milk. But I have found a coffee that I can drink black. I, I drink Nespresso coffee, and there's a limited edition one at the moment, a Zimbabwe one. And I actually can drink it black, and I'm enjoying it. So, unfortunately, as I've just said, it's a limited edition, and the delivery service has already run out. But I'm told the Nottingham Boutique's got some, so I'll be going there on Monday to get some more. But for me to be able to drink black coffee, it must be nice, because that's another thing I've battled with for years. I have the desire to do it, but it just doesn't give me the same instant gratification that milky coffee gives me. But maybe I need to be getting away from instant gratifications. Um, last Saturday afternoon, when I was out, Naomi, my consultant, left a voicemail on my mobile saying that the audiobook of Margaret's autobiography is actually being recorded at the moment. So for anybody else who's in a similar situation to me who can't read print, the audiobook is on its way and I will say on my channel when I know it's released and how you can get a hold of it and which sources it's available from. So that, uh, that's interesting for me. I want to recommend a couple of books this week. One that was recommended to me after Thursday's video which I immediately bought and I'm reading and that is called Never Binge Again and it's by Glenn Livingston. Now, Shell, who is Being Feast 57, tells me this is worth reading. And I am part way through it and I'm seeing quite a lot of sense in it. Anything that helps, I have to do anything that helps. I don't want to be a binge eater anymore. I don't want to even, it's the, again, it's the instant gratification that I'm battling with. It's the instant gratification of binging and that thrill and pleasure that I just shouldn't be looking for anymore. And the other book is um, by a guy called James Allen. And it was an old book, it was written originally in 1902, but it's been republished since. And it's a book called As a Man Thinketh. And I think that's the problem with me and all of these food issues. Like everything else, it all starts with a thought. You know, you can't escape your thoughts, but we need to find a way of dealing with them. And As A Man Thinketh is also linked to the Law of Attraction. The book is also linked to the Law of Attraction. So that's a book I haven't yet started, but I do intend to read it. But I have read some good reviews. It is available on Audible as well as other providers. I have read some excellent reviews and I did watch a YouTube video about it. So that's a book I'm going to be reading this week as well. And something I've made a decision to do for a week or two is to be really cautious around social media because I would say 95% of the videos I tend to watch are to do with weight loss. Not all Slimming World, but to do with weight loss. And I think I need to just focus on my need to lose weight and stop focusing on how other people are trying to do it, how they're failing, how they're succeeding how strange things people do that then I start to think are a good idea and they're not necessarily a good idea for me. It might be a good idea for them but they're not a good idea for me. And there is so much out there on weight loss and I think I've got too bogged down in it. So for the next week or two I'm going to be really careful around social media and weight loss. When I say social media I mean YouTube because I can't do Instagram, thank God because I would become totally obsessed with that. And you don't want me photographing every meal and every apple I eat. Apparently there's an article on the online thing for Slimming World. It finishes today, but you'll be able to find it afterwards. And it's nine tips on how to photograph your food beautifully. I mean, for God's sake, we're a weight loss club, we're not a bloody photographic club. <laughs> it just made me want to laugh in group this morning because it's like, most of us have got problems around food, right? I, well, talk about myself, I've got mega problems about, around food. The last thing I need to be doing is photographing the food I'm eating and putting so much emphasis and so much importance on impressing other people with the food I'm eating. I need to get back to eating a balanced, healthy, slimming world diet 
that just becomes fuel. Because I, I just don't get this. Maybe it's because I'm blind, but I just don't get this. I've got to photograph everything I'm going to eat. But because, for God's sake, by the time you've done all that, it must be cold. I mean, forgive me for being so blunt, but is this about weight loss or is this about photography? And Slimming World giving us tips on how to photograph our food. What's more important for me today? My social media connections or my weight loss plan? And I think I've been switching in my head to thinking, you know, social media, it's the be all and end all. Well, it ain't. For me, the be all and end all, and I don't care how many dislikes I get for this video. I'm being honest with you, how I feel and how I see things. You don't have to agree with me. But it's not about social media and impressing somebody with the crockery you've got. I could go and get my La Creuse pans out. I could show you the lot. I've got hundreds of pounds worth. Is it going to make me cook a meal? Is it going to make me a better cook than you? No, it's not. It's not about impressing anybody. It's not about building a reputation for being, you know, the next Nigella Lawson. It's about weight loss. And it's about maintaining that weight loss. And I think, genuinely, I've been taking my eye way off the ball and thinking things that weren't... Well, when I first came to Slimming World, I didn't vlog, I didn't do anything. I just concentrated on working the plan seven days a week and losing the weight. And I joined in May of 2015 at 13 Stone 8. And by December the 5th that year, I was at Target. I'm not sure I could do that again. My focus is not strong enough. I need to get back to putting ahead, putting in front of me and keeping ahead of me what is really important. And for me, that is not photographing food. And I can't believe that Slimming World are so desperate for topics to discuss that they're actually encouraging us to photograph our food. I mean, for goodness sake. Anyway, that's me on my soapbox, isn't it? Um, yeah, was there anything else on my list, Jo? Oh yeah, I know. I was talking about um, not focusing on, on slimming and dieting and that. I found a channel a couple of weeks ago, a lady I've started following called Shelby, and she's very much a family vlogger. And she lives in New York State, and she's got, I think, four grown-up sons and that. But while she talks a lot about food, and I love food, don't get me wrong, I love food, this lady cooks um, and she shops and everything. But because of what she shops and what she buys and how she cooks and how she bulk buys, because they get frozen in in the winter and all these sort of things, it's very, very different from any form of eating I would ever be doing and any form of cooking I would ever be doing. But she is an absolute joy to watch. So, because I don't choose to have a television and things like that, I, I do like um, flicking around YouTube. I watch a Mennonite girl called Megan Fox, who's really interesting. Again, it's a family vlog. I love Sacconi Jolies. But this lady, her channel is called The Queen's Pantry. And if you're bored and you just want a bit of like something nice to watch for 20 minutes or something, give her a watch. It's The Queen's Pantry. Yeah. Anyway, there am I, way off anything that I should be talking about, really. Um, yeah, I've come back from group stunned. I cannot believe that I can't fasten my jeans and I've only gained a pound. I could fasten them last week. Anyway, that's what the scale said. That's what I have to bear with. But for Joanne, thank you for your comment. I said, drop me an email. We'll sort that out. For everybody's support, I am really grateful. And I will be back next Saturday and hopefully next Saturday I will be able to fasten my jeans. We'll see. But yeah, I know I've got to change. I know the only person who can change me is me. But I am really grateful for your support and your love and kindness. We'll see you next week. Cheers.